Our destinations are the most beautiful natural places, amongst the most beautiful natural places on the planet. We do scenic flights, flight to the fish eagle, goes out over Lake St. Lucia and Lake Sabaya, and over the ocean where guests often get to see whale sharks, manta rays, sometimes even dolphins. Often guests have seen animals before they even get off the plane, which makes them really excited. So the soil now is getting sort of almost deeper and deeper. And then as we carry on, you'll see the trees will start getting bigger as we start getting into the sand forest. Um, and the sand forest is, is actually a, the ancient dune forest that used to occur here. It's a very rare, very endangered type of forest. It's a very sensitive environment. It's beautiful, huh? When they arrive, I prepare a nice welcome drink for them and I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. It's quite nice to meet new people every day. When, when we meet our guests, what we, what we try and find out first is if they've had any bush experiences, if uh, they're birders or if they just want to go and see the more high profile animals in terms of lion, buffalo, rhino. So we're going to go and see if we can find some cheetah that were seen this morning. Um, there was a female with uh, three youngsters. Here the cheetah are they? Just at the base of this big tree, if you can see all the three little youngsters, the mother's just popped her head up now. We, we don't ever walk with more than eight guests, just for a safety reason. We're quite strict on what we do out there, particularly the mountain noise that's being made. Walking in single file, always remaining behind the ranger and, and the rifle. I think it's ultimately the people and, and the interactions with everyone here in this amazing place. It keeps people coming back. For today, I'm preparing some very nice dinner. For starter, I've got mushroom soup with some garlic. And I've got here potatoes, wedges with some rosemary. It's not just coming out and, and viewing animals. I mean, you're gonna have fun, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you're gonna feel emotions which, which you don't normally get if you, you know, on, on a normal holiday. For someone that, that's coming all the way from overseas, um, and this is your once in a lifetime holiday to Africa, you, you're really shortchanging yourself if you, if you think that you can go and do, do this on your own. Personally, I think it's the best value for money you could ever hope for.